Hey, welcome back to ETV. It's time, it's that time of the day when we talk with Kara Morgan from the Boise Weekly and find out all the cool things going on in Boise this weekend. Kara, thanks for joining us. Well, thank you, Sean. And are there a lot of good things to talk about? Oh, yeah, there's a ton of great stuff coming up this week and weekend. For um, instance? Yeah, well, kicking things off uh, from Thursday through Sunday, it's the Spirit of Boise Balloon Classic, mm -hmm. which is a favorite annual event for families around the Treasure Valley. Um, it's in Ann Morrison Park and there's about 40 hot air balloons that will be lifting off early in the morning uh, and then there will also be a, a night glow event on Friday night where they'll light up a bunch of balloons so you can see them at night. Yeah, that's very cool stuff. So. Yeah, it should be really neat. Um, Saturday there's also going to be some competitive races this year so uh, they're going to cool. have some competitive demonstrations and then my favorite, the outhouse balloon bowling. <laughs> I uh, love it. Yeah. <laughs> As long as I'm not in the porta potty at the time, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's free, and that's in Ann Morrison Park. Uh, and then also coming up on Thursday is uh, First Thursday, which uh, we're particularly proud this First Thursday. There's a whole host of uh, former and current BW employees that are doing really awesome things for First Thursday. Uh, the first one is our former editor, Bingo Barnes, has opened a new uh, Idaho poster and letter press, which is oh. in the basement of the Idaho building. Mm -hmm. uh, and then also at the Boise Art Museum, our uh, graphic designer, Adam Rosenland, is giving a talk for BAM's new exhibit, Comics at the Crossroads. Very cool. Should be really exciting. Right. Uh, and then also at the Flying M, one of our uh, delivery drivers, or pedalists, okay. um, <laughs> Patrick Sweeney, is opening up a new show there. So Very cool. Should be a really exciting first Thursday for us. And I know Elizabeth has more to talk talk about first series as well, we'll get to her in a second. So. Okay. What else? Well, also on Thursday, uh, over at the Neurolox, it's the second annual 208 music video show, so that's going to be local mu music video artists uh, that have done uh, some really cool videos of local bands. It's five bucks, it's at 8 p.m., and you can expect videos from local favorites like Youth Lagoon, Micro Babies, and Thomas Paul. Very cool. What else we got? Well, coming up on Friday, it's the Hokum Hoedown Square Dance, <laughs> uh, cool. which is one of my favorite events. They took off a couple months, but they're back at the Linen Building. Uh, it's going to be a great family-friendly event. Uh, they're going to be teaching square dancing. They're going to have live callers calling out the moves, and uh, the Hokum High Flyers will be playing their blend of sort of folk and string band tunes. Very so cool. that's at 7 p.m., and it's 5 bucks per person or $15 for a family. And then uh, coming up on Monday, it's the Day of Idaho Food, um, which is sort of like the year of Idaho Food's birthday is what uh -huh. I'm calling it. Uh, so we've been celebrating that all year at Boise Weekly. We have a Year of Idaho Food column. And so the Day of Idaho Food is on Labor Day, and you should eat one, uh, make a concerted effort to eat one local food that day. Um, but lots of people are making their whole menus all day, just completely Idaho-grown foods. Uh, so it should be really cool. And if you head over to northwestfoodnews.com, uh, they have a whole host of recipes from everybody who's going to be involved in the event. Very cool. I'm going to make a concerted effort to eat multiple Idaho foods that day. Yeah, me too. Because I'll be hungry and be barbecuing. So, Tara, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Sean. Always. Very cool. Let's check out what's new with music with Elizabeth.